you know, I'm going to be covered in cat fur now. Yeah, for the remainder of the video. Covered in cat fur. Everybody, this is Sherpa, if you haven't met. Sherpa, everybody. Yeah, I know. Go on, how about you go sit on something? <sighs> Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Megan, and I usually do like fashion related videos. And today I wanted to share with you the clothes that I have that I have purchased outside of the women's department. Seems like a kind of funny video, but this is something that's like really a big part of my buying habits, just really, one, buying whatever I like, buying whatever I feel good in, finding a good deal, finding something that is like a high quality item that's made to last. And very often you can find those outside of the women's department. I won't ramble on about this too much, but I've definitely heard of the pink tax and I saw it in my razors. I have been buying men's razors for at least 10 years now and the women's ones, the exact same version by the same company, they're actually more expensive, marginally, but they're more expensive and I swear the men's ones are better quality. I swear they <laughs> last longer, purely anecdotal, but I, I'm sticking to that and I will continue to buy men's razors. So I wanted to share with you some of the items that I really enjoy, that I get a ton of use out of, that I purchased outside of the women's department. I will even shop in the little girls department. I don't care because I will just size up enough and um, especially if things are stretchy, it works out. So to begin, I have socks. Casual wear, I absolutely just go straight for the men's department. Why not, you know, pajama pants, I didn't bring all of those out, but pretty much all of my pajama pants are from the men's department. Um, actually growing up at Christmas time, my mom would usually go and get us all like a matching pair of flannel pajamas and like large, extra large, and the whole family would wear the same ones. And these things were indestructible. It got to the point where she just couldn't actually get them anymore because like we would all have a huge pile of pajamas and they would last for years and years. So those were all from the men's department, but I have these little dino socks with little Santa hats on them. These sheepies also, I got these from the men's department at Fat Face. <laughs> now this won't work for you if you have like cute dainty feet, I don't. Uh, so I usually find that with men's socks, there's like two sizes, a smaller size that I fit and I'm a women's size nine and a half, ten, 10. And then there's a larger size, which is just way too long for me, but I have wider feet anyway. And the smaller size for something like boot socks or athletic socks, they work great. They work so well. And just women's socks will have a huge markup on them. So yeah, that is my first item. Continuing with casual clothing, this has covered in cover because I was just wearing it but all of my band tees, they're all from the men's department. I think this was actually in the little boys department at Nordstrom Rack, but that's men's. Again, something I got at Nordstrom Rack. Men's, ooh, this was from the little boys. So obviously I'm built in a certain way that they weren't quite expecting to accommodate in these clothes. So I find that the chest can be kind of tight sometimes. Um, I usually just cut the arms off and that solves this problem. If you cut the sleeves off, it opens up the chest really nicely. And I wear these when I'm going to the gym, I wear them to work out in. And they're cute. This one too, <laughs> a little bit more masculine than the floral dinosaur, my Metallica shirt. And then this one I wear, I wear this almost every time I go to the gym. Not to be such a cliche in the Captain America t-shirt working out, but yeah, I just cut the sleeves off. I love this, it's so soft and comfortable. Women's shirts, oh, it pisses me off how much of them have polyester. And so I feel like they just deteriorate so quickly. Um, these, you know, I wear them hard. I wear them to the gym and they've held up for a couple of years now. Up next, something that I will always get in the men's department, boyfriend styles. Why, why get the marked up, trendy female version? You know, if you're going for a boyfriend cut, just get the men's department version. So that is exactly what I did. I had the hardest time finding boyfriend jeans 
in the women's department that actually fit me. And so finally I was like, why am I not just looking in the men's department? And I got men's skinny jeans. <laughs> they fit perfectly. Again, now these pants are expecting me to have equipment that I don't have, but my wider hips kind of balance that all out. Uh, these are the men's skinny jeans from Abercrombie. They're so cute. They're kind of like fitted. I, it's, it's hard to explain. They have that nice slouchy fittedness, which is contradictory, but they look great. I'll actually, maybe this week when I post this video, I'll post pictures on Instagram, like leading up to it of how I uh, incorporate these items because they're really so comfortable. They fit my body well enough. I also, uh, on that same trip, I got another pair of jeans. These are stiffer. Something I love about men's jeans is they tend to have a higher percentage of cotton. So they hold their shape really well. They're really thick, which is, I feel like it's so flattering when jeans are thicker. I hate the like thin ones. One, they wear out quickly. And I feel like they just don't go over my body the way I want them to in a flattering way. Maybe that makes sense, but yeah, this is again a pair of men's skinny jeans and they fit me like, you know, um, hmm, yeah, like a boyfriend, girlfriend, uh, whatever kind of cut that would be. Maybe I'll try to put up some pictures on Instagram, but I love these. They're so comfortable and they've lasted for years. Oh, up next, I also have a pair of men's cotton joggers. I love these. They sit kind of higher waisted on me. Just, uh, just kind of like nipped in at the waist so that makes it nicer to dress them up. I was walking through Target. I wasn't looking for them, but I saw them when I was just walking through and knew immediately that these would fit me really well. I think, what is this, a size? I think it's a medium, but I'm not sure. Please hold. Did I cut off the tag? Maybe I cut off the tag. I'll try to put it in if I can find it but men's clothes are so comfortable. These are just 100% cotton joggers. I hate how much polyester is in women's clothing and elastic, because you get the immediate saggy butt, things lose shape, they're just falling apart so quickly. So yeah, trainers, jeans that are meant to be looser anyway, I say just get the men's version. A few other items to share. Uh, I don't have any that are clean right now, but most of my linen shirts, I just get them in the men's department. I know a lot of people will talk about getting cotton shirts, like those crisp white cotton shirts. I haven't been able to make those work for me. Because cotton is so much stiffer, they just kind of stick out in the shoulders. And I, while I'm fine with a slouchier, more relaxed, masculine fit, I don't actually want to look like a big square walking down. And the cotton, because it doesn't drape, I haven't been able to make the cotton shirts work for me, but linen, linen just kind of drops at the shoulder, even though it's further down, like it just falls nicely and I can knot it, I'll size up to make room for my chest. They're just really comfortable and they've lasted ages, you know, whereas a lot of women's shirts, for example, and I do have women's linen tops, like for example, if I do want them to be more fitted because women's will be they'll have that seam across the chest to make room and then still be nipped in at the waist. I have a pair of J. Crew. why am I saying pair? I, I have a J. Crew linen women's shirt in I think a size small, but again, it's more fitted. But that top was, I got it on sale, but I think it was like $80. My men's linen shirts were about 50. They're holding up the same. My last two items that I wanted to share with you. This is one of my favorite coats, but I don't wear it enough just because again, it is a very specific style, but varsity jackets, just get the men's. They tend to have a higher percentage of wool uh, versus like women's will have a lot more polyester in the blend. These are uh, real leather sleeves. So I got this at the coach store. It was on sale and I love it. Yeah, it is a little bit bigger, a little bit more boxy, but I feel like it works with this sporty vibe. I feel like it looks really nicely with a pair of fitted, like actual women's skinny jeans, just all pulled together. It's a really cool look. And then this is one of my most recent purchases. So this I got in a vintage shop, but it is 
actually a men's military jacket. This is estimated to be from the 40s or 50s, but it fits me in the waist. It's a little bit bulky, but I feel like I feel like I can style it or maybe tailor it a little bit. The sleeves are longer. You know, I think what men tend to have longer arms, I guess, <laughs> but the sleeves are definitely long on me, but it just looks kind of cool and just a little bit different. So that is my most recent menswear purchase. I would love to get like a men's blazer, something not too slouchy, not too long, but I really love looking at vintage shops for things like that. So I think that is it. That is most of what I have from other departments. I have things from like the little girl's department, like my dinosaur shirt, that, jo that shirt, that shirt brings me so much joy. And you know, people comment on it cause it's fun and it's nice to see someone just having fun with clothes. Why does it matter what department it's in, who it's marketed towards, as long as it makes you feel good, I don't really see the problem. And again, I want my clothes to last and be made of higher quality materials and for some reason men get that. That is so infuriating. I'm gonna try not to go on a rant right now because I'm a coffee, but it does seem like you know, they don't want women's clothes to last. And I don't know if there's a chicken egg situation where we demonstrated through our buying habits that they don't have to last because trends are always coming out. I feel like for women in a way that they're not so much for men and you constantly have this material thrown in your face. So yeah, I, for me, I feel like the only thing I can do is, well, when I can, just buy the men's version. You know, if I'm gonna wear uh, just like slouchy shirts around the house, why get like the $90 women's shirt when you can just get the men's for usually like 10, 20 bucks? I think all of the band shirts that I showed you, I think they were all like five to $10. And this isn't so much like a fast fashion situation where, oh, okay, yeah, you get a $5 t-shirt and it only lasts maybe six months. These have lasted me years and they are getting washed more frequently because I'm exercising in them. So yeah, that is just what I wanted to share with you. I'm sure my next video will be very girly indeed. It'll have bags or dresses or something, but this is something I really enjoy and I wanted to share with you. Let me know, is there anything that you get outside of the department that is typically marketed to you? I'd really love to know, but until next time.